So let's move on to the role plays now. Uh, I'll take the part of the patient or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. Each role play will last five minutes. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the first role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. This is your information for the first role play. It's role play number one for medicine. Please start preparing now. Thank you. The role play will now <coughs> last for about five minutes. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Can you start the role play, please? Sure. May I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? Certainly. Um, my name is Rebecca, and my date of birth is the 15th of March, 1978. Thank you, Rebecca. I understand that uh, you have just been discharged from hospital two weeks ago. Is that correct? That's right, yes. That must be uh, uh, very difficult for you. Yeah, I, I'm happy to be home and I'm mm. feeling much better than I was two weeks ago, but I, I am feeling really quite tired, tired and I'm a bit worried about that. Sure. Can you tell me a little bit more about uh, the treatment? I understand that you had a mild anterior acute myocardial infarction and then it was treated in hospital. Um, um, I, I had a heart attack. Yes. Um, and yes, I was, was in hospital. Did you have any procedures? I'm trying to understand um, whether you had any surgeries or you had... Um, uh, no, no, I didn't no. have any, any kind of operation. Um, they gave me some medication right. um, and that, that made me mm. feel better. Right. And they, they hooked me up to some machine machines. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the tiredness became um, two weeks ago when you t returned home from hospital, is that right? Yeah, I, I, I suppose after the, after the, the heart attack, mm. I, I expected to feel tired, but uh, the, the tiredness hasn't gone away. So I'm just, I feel quite anxious that maybe this is the new normal for me. Sure. That I'm always going to be tired. Sure. Are you getting enough sleep at all? Uh, yeah, sleep. Maybe not quite as much sleep as I did before the heart attack, but um, yeah, pretty pretty good. Mm. How many hours on an, on an average uh, work work day? Um, well, I I like to have eight hours sleep every night, um, but I think I'm waking up maybe once in the night at the moment, so mm -hmm. it's not complete eight hours. Sure. How long does it take you to go back to sleep if you're woken up during the night? Uh, it can take a while. It right. uh, depends if I've got something on my mind. Sure. Um, I put the radio on. That, that mm. helps. Yeah. And before the heart attack, you never felt like this? No. No. So no. this is And new. the heart attack was completely unexpected. Sure. So. Mm. Yeah, understandable. Well, in hospital, they would have done all the necessary investigations to exclude any underlying or unrecognized illness that would be contributed to your um, tiredness. So let me reassure you that this is purely due to the um, normal bodily reactions uh, once the body undergoes um, uh, such an event as heart attack. Mm -hmm. So it is normal that you will be feeling a bit tired mm -hmm. for the next few weeks, mm -hmm. but eventually we are expecting that your full energy uh, levels will return. Oh, okay, so this isn't yeah. going to be like this forever. Mm, absolutely not. And um, this, that is why I would like to address something else with you uh, that will help you with um, not feeling tired um, for a long time. Mm -hmm. It is called Cardiac Rehabilitation Program. Have you heard about that? I think they mentioned something about it in the hospital, but mm. I, because they talked about 
walking and swimming, I, I didn't think that was such a good idea because I don't want to have another heart attack. Sure, yes, absolutely. Well, cardiac rehab is all about uh, graduating that necessary uh, exercise levels that you would be able to tolerate, that you would not be getting any chest pain or um, what we call ischemic pain, that is what causes the heart attack. Mm -hmm. And um, um, by um, and by graduated exercise, the circulation in your body will um, will um, improve, and um, that will um, not only make uh, not only uh, make you less less um, uh, vulnerable to um, ischemic events, but uh, it will also improve your um, overall feeling about yourself, as well as. Um, the, the very, um, uh, uh, just by being able to exercise, you would not be feeling tired as you're feeling now. Okay, I, I, I do f worry though, I mean the doctor said if I had another heart attack it would be more severe and um, because I'm feeling so tired I do worry that doing exercise is going to make me more likely um, the cardiac rehab is um, guided and coordinated by physiotherapists who are trained into um, this field and that's what they do. They're experts at re rehabilitating people who have undergone the same uh, problems as you have and, um, and are recovering from a heart attack. But on top of the exercise, we do have to address a few other things, and that is um, the other contribut contributing risk factors to developing another heart attack. Please don't worry about that, because um, if you change your lifestyle, your chances of having another one are quite low, especially if you find ways to uh, maintain normal levels of cholesterol and um, losing weight and uh, strengthening your heart, as I said, by graduated exercise um, coordinated by a rehab, cardio rehab physiotherapist. Um, the, uh, Thank you, yes. that's the end of the role play. <laughs>